After a difficult 3-11 season, the Oswego State wrestling team is gearing up for the regional tournament. For many on the team, there's always next year, but for seniors Omar Santiago and Blake Fisher, the clock is ticking and their time is now. 18 teams in our tournament, so that's, that's definitely a big change. You know, a lot more competition there. Going into this weekend, I'm a little nervous, obviously, because this could potentially be the last week of my season if I don't place top three. Both Santiago and Fisher are vying to individually place top three in regionals, which would earn them the honor of being the first Laker wrestlers to qualify for the national tournament since 2009. Team captain Omar Santiago will be making his run through the 133-pound weight class. After achieving his individual goals with a successful 2011 season, Santiago has high hopes for this weekend. I, I did meet a lot of the goals that I did set for myself, and the ultimate goal now is to get to nationals, and that's just taking top three this weekend. And there's definitely a high possibility of me reaching that. While Coach Mike Howard has been excited for this weekend, getting his team ready to compete at regionals. It's a bittersweet feeling for him to watch his captain's career come to a close. Well, it's always tough to replace that kind of leadership. Uh, Omar's been fantastic uh, with these guys, bringing them along, teaching them the right way to do things, making good decisions, uh, building the foundation for the future. After his absence from the team last season, Blake Fisher has come back with a 20 and nine record overall and is taking his current 12 game win streak into this weekend's region. I actually didn't set a goal for the conference tournament and uh, I ended up taking first at that in 165 weight, weight class and uh, I'm going 157 for the regional and for nationals. You know, Blake's uh, come back to the program. He, he's uh, picked up right where he left off uh, two years ago. He's experienced a lot of success. He's got a great motor. He's constantly working, moving. Uh, his work ethic is, is phenomenal. This could, this could be the last time of my life that I'm ever competing for something worth competing for. Like, I mean, obviously I'll be competing for a job, but that's always a little different than competing to get your hand raised in wrestling. Coach Howard feels Fisher is a great asset to any team he's on. Uh, he's a total package. I mean, he's going to make an outstanding teacher, an educator, and a, and a wonderful coach for somebody whoever is uh, fortunate enough to hire him in the school district. Even though wrestling is in part an individual sport, this Oswego team is a close bunch. You gotta have love for your teammates because they're the ones that make you better. They're the ones that train and push you with. If you don't have a teammate, it's really hard to, to get in the room and train the way you're supposed to train. Uh, so you gotta have those guys for competition. If they're running harder than you, you gotta, you gotta try to beat them. All those guys up on the wall with their names in the All-American wall, they're somebody. We gotta be somebody. I'm gonna be somebody, what? I'm gonna be somebody, what? There is one thing for certain, Santiago and Fisher plan to leave it all on the mat. Blake and uh, myself, you know, we've been giving 110%. I want to be a regional champion, which means I got two really tough matches that I know of, and uh, they're probably going to be the semifinal and the finals match. This weekend at regionals, when the whistle blows, Santiago and Fisher will be on the clock. For the Oswegonian newspaper, Patrick Malowski reporting.